up in there. Look, you got a big old leech. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm just here with the pepperonis and I am luring them with some uh, beef jerky right now to keep them attentive. Hi Rooks. So right off the bat I just want to say um, this is not going to be uh, my normal adventure video. I'm just doing a quick one. I am exhausted. I did a week of camping uh, the past week. I got back yesterday. I'm tired. Nothing crazy this week, but at the end of the video, I'm going to give you some spoiler clips to the upcoming videos, or the upcoming trip that I did, so stick around for that if you're here for nothing else. So, we hit 10,000 subscribers, guys. Woo! 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 <laughs> Which is awesome. That's a huge milestone. Really excited about that. Um, I mean, I, I'm seventh months old on YouTube, so hitting... Hitting uh, 10,000 subscribers is a big milestone. All right, you guys need a piece of beef jerky. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update. I'm going to do my first ever unboxing of stuff that was sent to me by subscribers, by you guys. And uh, yeah, just talk about the channel. And I think that's it. Just give a little update and show you guys some clips. And, you know, talk about my trip a little bit. Here you go, Monty. Where are you want some of this? Come up here. Come on up. So, are you guys ready for it? Ready to see my new logo? That's another thing I was going to say. Here we go. My first ever logo. So I got the color version and the black and white, and I'm going to make shirts for both. So for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway, what I'm going to give is a bunch of shirts with these logos on it that you just saw. Now I'm not sure exactly how many, it's really going to come down to cost for the shirts. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is the top two prizes, the two top winners are going to get the full color version. and everybody else is going to get the black and white version. Now I'm not sure, like I said, how many um, I'm gonna do because printing t-shirts are expensive, but by the time, I'm gonna get some quotes and by the time I upload this video and give it a week and we announce some winners, I'll get all the logistics figured out. So basically how to enter this video, how to enter um, for this giveaway, you have to comment, first of all, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you have to comment on this video telling me what your favorite video of mine is. Yes, you have to tell me. You have to pick one. You might like them all. You might not like any of them. But you gotta pick one and you gotta tell me which one. And if you feel like telling me why, cool. Because, you know, I'll use that in the future. Maybe I'll try to repeat that video or do something similar, do more stuff like that. I wanna know what you guys like, what you guys wanna see. I've always said this channel is gonna be, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm learning the bushcrafting, obviously. I started that seven months ago. I haven't done a whole lot of that. And we'll get to more. You guys saw my spring failures. Too many bugs. Didn't like that. So we're going to get back to that in the fall and uh, winter. But for now, you're going to see a lot of fishing videos and stuff. So, you know, you know, there's a lot of bushcrafters out there. But I think I'm a, I'm a different breed, guys. So with all that being said, I'm a fun crafter. That's what I'm going to label myself as from now on. Not really a bush crafter. I'm a fun crafter. We like to have fun here. <laughs> so, oh, and I bet you guys are wondering about Mr. Rug, Mr. Rug's uh, blastomycosis, Mr. Rugustus, Mr. Rugitoni, Mr. Rugitugi, Rugs still has blastomycosis. 
Yeah, I was out on the trip and I called Funk and one of the first things we talked about is he's still got it. This little stinky turd muffin. Now he's going to be okay guys. You don't have to worry about the roofs. He's just going to have a crappy summer of getting to just play outside in the yard and swim. We're, we're too worried about putting on heartworm medication and flea and tick stuff. So we're just going to give him like the, the topical stuff and we're going to play it safe with him. We don't want him getting heartworms or anything and like... We have come so far with this this illness, paying seven dollars a day, plus like one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars for um, urine tests to check on it, and it is very expensive. And we are just not going to mess around with it. So unfortunately, his test came back. He still got it. So Rooks, come here, come on. So he is going to be just a chipper young fella playing inside, catching balls and stuff. But you got to do what you got to do. He's not, we don't, he's past the point where he's going to die, you know, it, it's, it's a serious illness, but he's, he hasn't lost any vision or anything. He's just a crazy dog with a lot of pent up energy and he can't go run around out in the woods. So he's just going to have to stay inside and be crazy inside. But then you got Monty over here that's just like not having this excitement. So that's another thing I wanted to bring up is, uh, I had, I had some of you guys mention whatnot on, on Funk's Instagram that you were were interested in donating money to maybe Rube's vet bills and stuff stuff like that. So I did open up a PayPal account and I will link it down in the description. Um, its address is like www.paypal.me slash Matthew Poza and you know I, I hate just like asking for money but I'm just gonna put that up there. I'm not really gonna mention it again. I'll leave the link in my descriptions and stuff but that's that. If you want to you know help pay towards that that'd be that'd be very I'd be very grateful for that but that's just your own disclosure. I'm not going to shove that down your guys' throats. So uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is I'm going to have a website coming up here soon. It's not going to be anything crazy right off the bat, and I'm eventually going to sell those t-shirts on it that I'm making, and maybe we'll do some patches. Who knows? I, it's all work in progress. I'm learning. As far as the website goes, I'm going to try to have it up in the next few days, and after the website comes up, I'll link it all down in my description, I'm going to start doing affiliate links for the gear that I use. Now, I haven't done any videos where I talk about the gear that I use or anything like that, um, but I'm gonna start doing those. And you know, I'll go over everything I use at the time of year, I'll make certain videos in detail, how I like it, what I really use. It's not gonna be just gear reviews of stuff, it's gonna be what I actually use and actually enjoy. And you can actually help support me in this channel by using my affiliate links. It won't charge you anything but you, if you want to buy a gear, a piece of gear that I use, you click my link down in the description, takes you to Amazon, and you can buy it. No extra cost to you, but I get like a 10% commission, so that would be awesome, and it will help support the channel. And yeah, we're going to get that going very soon. And I'm also going to open up a Patreon account. Someone had mentioned that, and a couple people have been asking me, like, oh, you should get on Patreon, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know what it was. I didn't know much about it, but I'm still figuring that out, and I'm eventually going to get that too. But like I've said many times, I would love to be able to just do this for a living. So that's what we're gonna that's that's what it's gonna take to get there, you know. Gonna have the affiliate links, there's gonna be ads on my videos, and I'm gonna have a Patreon account. And over time, I'm hoping that this this channel could support me and I could do this full time and just adventure all the time. I've been having a full plate, guys, and it's been it's been a busy few weeks. As you can see, I've been a content pushing machine. I've done, you know, a camping video every Sunday for a while and I've been having fishing videos. Now the fishing videos, obviously they're, they're not as uh, much work. I like to fish all the time and I'll go out in evenings. Sometimes I'll go out on like a Friday night and a uh, Saturday morning and that's two videos and you know that's just a few hours for each one. I love to do that all summer long so I really won't have a problem pushing those videos out midweek. Uh, for the remainder of the summer. Some weeks they won't have them, some weeks I will, you know. It'll just, that's just how that's going to go. But as far as camping and adventuring, I'm not quite sure how it's going to pan out this summer because as, as it gets to the midsummer, I tend to not do as much hardcore wildernessy work, but we'll see how it goes this summer. Who knows what we're, what we're in for. And one other thing that I forgot to mention is I got access to the community tab, guys. So what that means is if you go to my profile, or my channel, you click on my channel and you click community, 
there'll be posts. I'm going to start posting just like updates of what I'm doing, maybe some pictures, maybe some silly polls, stuff like that. I'm going to try to use that more often. We're going to see how it goes, but so far I've already posted a few things, so make sure to check those out. And uh, they might show up on like a homepage or something. I don't know. YouTube's changing a little bit. Um, they're, they're trying to add new stuff. But anyways, I got access to that. Check it out. Okay, so I guess that's really all I had to talk about. I talked through that really fast. Sometimes I talk pretty fast, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I want just a jitter mouth. I drank lots of coffee this morning. <laughs> you guys want another treat? These guys are just looking at me. So I think we're going to do some unboxing. I got... Uh, Funk sitting over here behind the camera. She's she's pretty excited about this. So as far as unboxing goes, um, the first package I got sent was sent to me by Alice, and we oh Funk's Funk's asking for a piece of beef jerky over here. <laughs> oh, here you go, Rooks. There you go. Anyways, my first package was sent to me by Alice, and like I said. We weren't really expecting it, and we're, we're both so excited. Funk's just like, let's open it right now. I'm like, okay, and I really wanted to make a video about opening the stuff up for you guys, but I couldn't wait for that one. So a lot of these packages have been sent to me <laughs> maybe a month ago or more, some are more recent. <laughs> this is just everything I've gotten so far. And I'm sorry if I haven't opened it and you're like wondering, hey, I sent him something and he just hasn't mentioned it. It's because I really wanted to do an unboxing video and I've been so busy that I just could not get to it. So without further ado, let's do some unboxing. Where's that knife? So the first thing I want to say about uh, you guys sending me stuff and, you know, I've only been seven months old and I got 10,000 subs and I wasn't really expecting to get this many packages already. So I'm sure I will be getting more in the future. I'm not trying to sound arrogant or anything like that. I just, I can see how, um, you know, you'll just get sent more stuff. So what I want to say first off and foremost is um, I like my camping gear. I like what I use. Sometimes I will get some stuff that I will definitely use and take out in the woods. And occasionally I'll try to make a video in the future where I use only subscriber gear if I ever get that much stuff. But for, for the most part, if I get sent, you know, a lot of stuff and it's something that's it's great and I won't use it, I don't see myself using it, I'm going to probably pass it on to my friends or keep it around to lend out to other people. I'm not going to, or maybe I'll even give it away in giveaways. I've, I really haven't really decided, but, you know, some of the stuff I love and some of the stuff I just don't see myself using because I'm just very stubborn on my gear. Some stuff like... Like uh, like a sleeping pad. I'm always going to use a Thermarest sleeping pad, no matter what. I love those things, you know. So, with that being said, just know that going for forward if you ever send me something. But Alright, so, this is the first package I got sent, was sent to me by Alice. She sent me a whole bunch of stuff, and it was really exciting. She sent me a whole bunch of these. This is actually from her. Uh, Jack's Links and different sorts of beef jerkies and stuff for the dogs, which they love. Yeah, right guys? Funk likes them too. <laughs> I, I like them too. But, she also sent me this sleeping pad. It's a big old sleeping pad. It's got like a built-in uh, pillow. It was pretty cool. Now it's a little bit bulkier for what I would use, but I'm going to keep this around to lend out to friends and stuff because I do like to take people camping and they don't always have as much gear as I do. She also sent a uh, camelback bladder. I'll probably eventually use this, but it's just getting into summer and I have not used it yet. I thought this was pretty funny. She sent me some wet ones and some hand sanitizer because you guys see me pr be pretty gross with my hands sometimes. <laughs> I've definitely used two of these already. Uh, used them up, got them out there. Sent me some hand warmers. That'll be useful in winter. I like to bring some of those sometimes. What else we got in here? Oh yeah, this foldable fishing net. I've used this on a few videos and I've definitely taken it out fishing. I love everything about it except the netting. You can see there's already a hole right there and I think there's a couple more. It's because this cloth netting, it gets your little treble hook in there and it is so hard to get out of the cloth, I have to cut out the net. I mean, I spent 10 minutes or so each time trying to get it out 
Couldn't do it, had to cut it. I like the nylon nets, but I really still appreciate it and I did use it. It caught me some fish, but it, uh, it's got that cloth netting. But thank you, thank you. Now this little thing, I've been, this is definitely something I've added to my camping arsenal. This little light, it's a black diamond Moji light, and I think it's waterproof, 100 lumens. But I really like this thing. I love it a lot. I actually, it's like got a nice glow and what I do is I put it up in my tent in the little netting and it just sits in there and it lights up my whole tent. So like, this thing's great. I love this thing. This is now a part of my arsenal pretty much when I go out. What else was sent to me? What else we got in here? Oh yeah, this I haven't used this yet, but it's like, it's like a bungee with what is this called here? No. See, I, I went through this stuff. It's a knot bone adjustable bungee. I will definitely be using this. I haven't used it yet. As I said, we're getting into summer. This is more time for bungees and stuff, but it's like it clips. I think it, uh, you can shorten the length. Yeah, you can, you can make it longer or shorter, which is really cool. But, that's pretty sweet. I like that. I like it a lot. So, thank you very much, Alice. And also, um, Alice wrote me a letter and I just was, you know, I, I'm new to this, guys. Give me a break. Uh, so, I'm going to read it right now and I'll insert the clip afterwards. Or before, you'll see. It'll look okay. Matthew and Monty. Just wanted to send you a few things that you might find useful. Have been watching almost since you started posting videos. I figure that as long as I have been watching you deserve a few perks. Just a thanks for your time and effort in making these videos. It's not much, but if you can use any of this, great. No need to say my name. Also, I am sending the Amazon or through Amazon another exchange for you, sharing, hoping you can use them. Um, I guess Monty can enjoy some of the beef jerky. He sure did. So did I, and so did Funk. <laughs> and Bruger. <laughs> Didn't know what brand of treats you liked. Anyway, thanks again. Well, he likes any sort of meat. What was that? But anyways, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm sorry, I haven't gone over this sooner, but that was great. I'm sorry if I'm talking so fast. Like I said, lots of coffee this morning. I was exhausted last night and passed out. So let's open up some more stuff. Now, I don't know, no, uh, most of these packages don't have any names. Uh, there's one at the bottom, I'm going to say that last, for last, that's got a name on it. The rest are just random, unmarked, that I just don't know who sent it. So, let's open up and see what we got here. Some Morak gloves. Huh. These some fishing gloves? They look like there's some fishing gloves or some paddling gloves. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if they fit. I got some pretty big hands. Ooh, those aren't bad. That's pretty close. That's pretty nice. I might just have to give these a try. See if I like them. I do get I do got some pretty gnarly calluses on my hands. And Funk, Funk's got little baby hands. We'll see if they fit her too. <laughs> well, those, those actually fit pretty good. They're a little snug, but hey, I'll give them a try. This might work out great. That that does right where your right where your hand is. Hmm, I mean, that's pretty cool. Thank you. I'll give those a try. Oh, it says they're bicycle gloves. Cycling, they'll work for paddling too. Wonder if they hold water. All right, what else we got here? Well, I've never done one of these before, guys, so this is, this, is, this is new territory for me. What do we got? Pocket bellows, collapsible fire bellowing tool. Ah, okay, for blowing up a fire. Interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, they don't like that one. 
Huh. Well, I do. That That is useful. I don't know if I'll end up using it. I'll give it a try once. But, uh. Or maybe we'll, we'll give it to Funk's Arsenal. She, she can use this. I do like to get my face down in there and use my big old powerful lungs, though. But thank you. I will, I'll give that a try. Hey, hey, you guys. Come here, Monty. Come on. Come on, the tree. Monty, come here. Come on, come on, tree. Tricked you. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Lay down. Lay down. You guys are my little props. You gotta stay. Oh, it's over here. I need my little props here. We'll give Monty the bigger piece. Sorry, Rugs. Good boys, you stay there. All right. Thank you for that, by the way. These dogs are interrupting here, Mr. Doggies. All right. Keep, I want to open it. What do we got here? An all-purpose open fire grill. Hmm. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Nice. I will definitely, I, this is something I will use for car camping, that's for sure. I will not, I'll probably not be bringing this uh, backpacking or canoe camping, it's a little bulky. But that will definitely be good for cooking up stuff. Car camping? Heck yeah. Oh yeah. You betcha. Cool. This one right here was given to me by Alice. Thank you very much. Oh, there's something else in here. Campfire tool product. Collapsible. What is this? Oh, it's another one of these. A little, another little bellower. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. Does it do anything else? Oh, no, it's a bellower. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be using those. I got I got big, powerful lungs. So I like to use my lungs, and I like to bring out less. If I don't need something, I don't bring it out. You know, and my mouth is a pretty big bellower. <laughs> Okie dokie. Monty, what's in this one? What's in the box? <laughs> yeah, Roots, what's in the box? Alright. Alright, alright. What we got 
next day, right home. My props are gone, little guys. This one is unmarked. Unmarked, we've got to go deeper. We must go deeper. We must go deeper and deeper. What do we got here? Oh, this one's a big old grate. Bam. That one's heavy duty. Uh-oh. Now there's some competition. I'm going to have to use them both and see which one I like more. This one looks also great. That one's got the little edges, but... Oh yeah, I can see myself using this. Nice. If I ever get a little property, this will be great for fires. Cool. We will definitely be cooking up some steaks or something over these grates in the future. I can promise you that. Yeah, so uh, this goes to show you that I, I obviously don't know what I'm doing with these giveaways because uh, when I was cleaning up uh, the mess of all the boxes and stuff, I found this receipt in there that says who the gift is from and has a little message. So I'm going to read it now and I'm going to insert the clips around. But this grill right here was given to me by Big Fat Noah and I said, Hi Matthew, I can't stand watching you cook on that small grill, so here you go. Enjoy your gift. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm bad at this. It's my first time. Thank you very much. All right, and our final package, this one was sent to me by John. I'm not gonna say his last name, because that'd be rude. But, I, like I said, there's no names on the other packages. Thank you everybody who sent me those. I appreciate it, that, that's, that's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention quick is uh, I tried to use YouTube to find out who my longest running subscribers were because I wanted to send them some stickers or something, you know, just you're like the first hundred or something like that, the first thousand, and I, you can't, you can only go back so far and I couldn't find out um, who they were, so that was a little upsetting, but maybe we'll try to figure it out later, but here we go. Hi, Matt. Here is some stuff for you, all brand new. Give it away or use it, John. Thank you very much, John. Let's see what you sent. What is this? Is this just, this must just be protection. Just some protection here. What do we got here? Is this a hammock? Ooh, a double hammock. Nice. Are these atlas straps? Oh, these are pretty much atlas straps. Nice. These are great. I love these. These look a little longer than mine, actually. I might, I might switch these up. They're pretty a little heavy, but let's check out this hammock here. Nice. Oh yeah, we'll give this a try. I'll definitely use this one in non-buggy weather or in a windy spot because it doesn't have the bug net, but hey, this will work. We will give this thing a try. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. Yeah, these definitely seem like some, uh, just like my Atlas straps. Cool. Definitely keep that side to give to somebody or borrow or whatever. What do we got here? These are just some clips. Um, some all-purpose clips, I guess. Maybe they go to, oh wow. Okay, so maybe this was what the, uh, the other box is for, the Gerber knife. Awesome. Portland, Oregon, USA, Gerber. Cool. That's a big heavy-duty knife. <laughs> That's a big one. Let's see how sharp she is. pretty sharp cool that's a pretty heavy-duty uh, sheath it's got there 
I wonder how she, I wonder how it hits the fire steel. But yeah, it looks like a good. I wonder if it's a, a full tang knife. Doesn't look. Maybe it's a full tang. I'll have to look this one up. But that looks pretty good. Definitely add to my knife collection. Oh, we got a little direction here. Also, it does. I think it is a full tang. And these are to these straps are to the knife. It's got a. Oh, okay, it's got a point for a breaking glass. You can use it as a hammer, and I can believe that because that thing is a big, heavy knife. Converts to a spear, and it's got an integrated sharpener. Let me see that quick. Oh, cool. I'm not going to do it right now, but it's got a sharpener built in. Cool. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it's not done. It's not done. Ooh, we got some fatwood here. All right. Fatwood, Juntine, and card. Cool. We're definitely going to be using this to spark up a fire at some point. And then we got, I think, oh, a bottle opener. There we go, Alaskan Brewing Company. That's going to be used. <laughs> I'm going to use that at some point. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, John, well, thank you very much. Well, guys, thank you very much for all the stuff. I really appreciate it. You will see me use this at some point, a lot of this stuff, and I will definitely be uh, either giving, giving it some away if I don't see myself using it a lot or borrowing it out. But anyways, I appreciate it. Thank you a lot. All right, guys. Well, that was my first unboxing ever. That was that was cool. That was fun. <laughs> I appreciate all that. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I don't really have anything else to talk about, but we're just talking about the website, upcoming stuff, new logo coming out, oh, t-shirts, patches, blah, 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 future. And then these guys, these precious little monsters. Yeah. Hi, guys. How's it going? So, as far as my upcoming trip goes, I'm still unsure whether I am putting it into two or three parts. My original plan was two-part video, uh, released two Sundays in a row, but I have recorded 15 plus hours of footage. That is a lot. That is more than I recorded on my 10-day trip, and I just don't see myself being able to cut that much footage out to where I can make a two-part video. I mean, that 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 10 day trip, I made pretty much three parts of almost two hours per part. And I'm gonna do my best to give you three two hour parts. And I think that's gonna be cutting out a lot. So I was originally planning on doing two parts. And I think I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, give you guys a three-parter. Now, some of you might be like, poop. But some of you might be like, sweet, that's like six hours or more. I have no idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make, my, make it sweet to the point, not too much filler, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it good videos. It was a good trip. We had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, we're, we're going to see how it comes out. But I, I, I'm going to at least do a part this coming Sunday or next Sunday and uh, the following Sunday, and I'm unsure if it's a three-parter, maybe I'll release a section on Wednesday. We'll see. Hey, Rubes. Come here. Bring me the toy. Come bring it. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here, Rubes. Rubes. Anyways, guys, I'm going to try to get you a fishing video this Wednesday, and then, uh, yeah, it's part of this trip. So, um, give that to me. Give that to me. <laughs> These guys are making it hard to, uh, hard to, hard to think here. Okay, and we're going to give you some tidbits of our next, of this coming trip at the end of this video. Um, so to be, like I said, to be a part of this giveaway, it's going to be just for a bunch of t-shirts this time. You got to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then 
leave a comment stating your favorite video of mine and maybe why if you want. And that would, that would be great. I will read all those comments. There might be a lot of comments, so I might not reply to them all. But this is for the t-shirts, guys. And I'll, t I'll let you know next week or next Wednesday how many t-shirts we're giving away. But um, I will be making them for purchase eventually on my website. I just don't know how any of that works. This is all new to me. I'm going to be, uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is get some money here. And then I'm going to order a bunch, a bunch of different sizes and a few colors. And then, um, yeah, put them on the site. They'll go out of stock. You know, I'll get paid back. Then we'll order some more. I just, it's all new to me. It's something I'm going to have to figure out. So you want those t-shirts? Do what I said. And you can have your chance to wear a t-shirt of my first logo. <laughs> my logo. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. All right, calm down. Calm down. Come with this. You want this? You Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Um, so, enough of me wasting your guys' time. These dogs are so silly. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this video. And, uh, yeah, do what I said if you want a shirt. And stick around for the clips coming in to you in five, four, three, two, one. More poop. You're a poop, Monty. You get him, Monty. You get him. <laughs> you poor guy. Are they getting you? Come here and play him, Monty. Alright, this one's ramming speed. See that, ladies and gentlemen? That is the bite from another fish. Oh, yeah. A nasty storm system coming in. So, ooh! <laughs> oh, shit. Like I said, I don't know what I'm getting into. Oh, we did it, guys. I think. <laughs> Knock on wood, because that's done me so much good so far.